Hello YouTube, I um, just wanted to make a video of this KIPS generator. I've looked on YouTube for videos of them functioning and things like that, and I couldn't find any videos that were really, they were all just kind of uh, animated. And that's cool and all, but I wanted to see a real one functioning. And this is old technology. Before gas was in compressed bottles, you would have to make it on demand, and you would do it with a Kips generator. Basically, you got a reservoir on top. This is a ridiculously big one, too. Normally, they're a quarter of this size, if that. But anyway, you got a res reservoir on top. You have a reservoir in the middle and a reservoir on the bottom. The bottom reservoir is connected to the top via a tube that runs right through the middle of the center reservoir. The fluid can move up from the bottom reservoir into the top where it contacts your medium. In this case, I have some marble in there or calcium carbonate, and the reactant is a dilute solution of hydrochloric acid and water. So basically right now the valve is closed, so there's pressure built up in here to here and it keeps the acid away from the reactant or your medium. And basically when you open this valve here, the pressure is released, the fluid can come down from the reservoir, fill this bottom of the reservoir until it fills up, contacts the solution here and starts to react. Uh, at this point, gas is produced and it'll bubble out into your solution or whatever you want to do with it. When the valve is closed, pressure builds and it pushes the acid back down to the state where it's not in contact and it's not reacting. I figured I'd show you. As I open this valve here. You can see the solution rises bubbling away. Open the valve more. And now you can see it comes into contact with the solution. So right now it would be producing carbon dioxide gas. And it bubbles off into wherever you need it. And the trouble is with a regular gas generator is once you start the reaction, it's going to continue until it's finished. With this setup, all I have to do is close this valve, pressure will build up, and it pushes the reactant, or sorry, it pushes the acid away from your reactant, and the reaction stops, there's no more gas being produced, and it reaches an equilibrium as the acid is pushed back up into the reservoir at the top. And if I, just to make it happen a bit faster, take that off. That's how Kip's generator works. Thanks for watching.